Okay, I'm back. Um, I gotta bring Bella out. Oops, sorry. I gotta bring Bella out because she and Jules are so adorable, and uh, she might eat, you know, all the babies. So. I don't want her to eat the babies. So yeah. I'll leave it like that. And I'll quickly bring them over here on my bed. So let's go the camera drops. Okay, there you go. I'm sorry, the camera dropped. Um oh. so what I do looks like that. No. So what I do is I bring the kids right here. Oh you can see them in the wheel. Sometimes they both get in the wheel at the same time. Yeah, she's looking right at you guys, but <laughs> you can't really notice. Um, so what I do is I take the top off. They never, <laughs> they get a lot of rest where I am. You guys might think, oh my god, you like. You guys might be like, oh my god, you never leave them alone. You always do videos with them. No, that is not true. That's not true. I don't. I left them rest nighttime and daytime sometimes. Okay, so Crinkle was just looking at you guys. <laughs> so I have to watch it because they can climb up these little bars because these bars are like, uh, like their little ladder that they climb up to. So yeah. Uh, when they get older, I'm going to get a glassing cage, maybe. I might get a glassing cage for them. For them, like, they won't climb up the glassing cage, or you know. Um, stuff like that. Or I might just get a cage like this with the bars and just, like, have it, like, a little bit bigger. Um, but not too expensive. Um. When you guys first get your job, uh. You guys might think, oh my god, you can pick your gerbil up by the tail. No, do not do that. Because you might break their tail. And their tail might fall off. And they don't grow their tails back like some animals does. They do not grow their tails back. Um, so you don't want that to happen. You don't want their tail to be broke. So do not pick them up by the tail. My uncle picked Kringle up by the tail, but he never hurt her tail or anything. He never did anything like that, trust me. He never really, like, grabbed her out. He just, like, you know what I'm talking about. He never really grabbed her out like some people does. He just gently grabbed, like, grabbed her tail out and just put her in her in his hand. But, yeah, she was down bottom of the cage anyway. If you guys are scared of your hamsters, you should be on a bed, really close to a bed um, or something. Just for like now, like for that you can get used to them, um, picking them up and stuff. Because if you drop them, they're only going to fall on your bed. Or like keep your hand over the cage for them if they fall, they'll land on the bedding and they won't hurt themselves. Um, and if your dribbles bite, your d bite, you should just put your hand in there and let them get used to you. Um, you should pick them up sometimes because dribbles do uh want to be uh picked up sometimes uh because they need like people around them and you know get a little bit of attention and stuff so you should do that um i forgot to put their bowl back in their uh, cage but i did like take a lot of their food and put around their cage and up on top for them so yeah so they wasn't really hungry because you know where their food is uh i laid the food all over the bottom and all over the top so they they never went hungry um there's like one two three and their dish was really full so yeah, I just forgot to put their just dish back. Um, and if you guys take the top off of your cage, and um, you do have to be really, really careful because they will climb up the bars and try to climb out and escape. So you have to be really careful if you have a cage like this with bars because these here bars are like their little ladder. So yeah, you you got to be really careful because if you, like, forget to put the top back on or, like, just, like, don't look, like, watch them, they will climb up here and they will uh, escape. So, yeah, you have to be really careful about that, um, with that, too. Um, but if you have a glass in cage, 
well, that's different. You don't really have to watch that. But if you have, like, some people does with a glassing cage, they put a lot of stuff, like, in the cage. And it's right up to here, maybe. No, here, maybe. Yeah, right here. And then, see, look, she climbed up there just then. Oops, she fell down, but she never hurt herself. Probably, like, up to right here. And then they can climb out really easily. Um, well, they're probably, like, about right here. No, right here. And they can climb it really easily. So, like, don't want that to happen. And, um, but she... What Crinkle does and Daisy, they climb up these bars over here where their water bottle are, is. And they get on their water bottle. Um, and then, uh, they try to escape that way. But that don't work because I watch them. Uh, this way here's Daisy. She just climbed up on the cage and got on her water bottle and tried to escape, but I caught her because I'm watching them at the same time. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. And, like I was saying, if you don't put a top on, they will escape. And if they escape, you're not going to find them again. They could, if you put, like, put them on your bed and your bed is really high, they could fall off and hurt themselves. Especially even when your bed is really low, they can still fall and hurt themselves. And if... You pick them up, you forget to put the cage on, and you had them up somewhere really high. They could get out of the cage and fall and really, really hurt themselves. Um, they could die. Um, if you have them on the floor or something, like, you know, they could still escape and go on the floor. And then they, you're never going to get them back because they're going to get lost and eventually get really hungry and die. So, yeah. They're spe most likely thirst to death and you know, hunger to death, I'm just going to say. So, yeah. So, it, they do really want a lot of attention sometimes because, you know, they're like hamsters. Sometimes some hamsters want a lot of attention, sometimes they don't. Um, but these animals do not bite. They only nibble, nibble not nibble. <laughs> They do not bite, they only nibble. Um, when you're trying to catch them with your hands, sometimes you you grab them like this, or sometimes you can like put two of your hands in there and scoop them up that way um, and do it. And sometimes you can just put your hand in there, lay flat, and when they, when they go on your hand, you can like lift up your hand that way and do that. Or you can take the top off and wait till they climb up here, and when they climb up here to the cage, you can pick them up that way. Okay, so you can do it that way, but just don't pick them up by the tail, okay? Um, reason why my uncle picked them up by the tail because he ne he didn't know, right? He's like, we all heard that you can pick them up by the tail, but um, he never knew that. So, but when he did it, he never broke her tail or anything. Um, if you guys know with Crinkle, her tail is like this. That's not because of my uncle did that. My uncle did not do that. Um, she when when she came, when the the owner dropped her off to us, that's what her tail was like. Um, and we thought it was all it was all fine because she might have like was born like that or something. But my uncle James said, well, her tail was definitely broke, probably. So the one, the owner probably like, like it probably got, she probably got hurt or something and probably brought her to the vet or something and they just said it's okay, it's just okay, you know. Um, she might have had a cast on it for a while and it's just, the bump is just still there maybe. Um, I'm, we're, we're not sure. Um, I'm going to get my pot to ask her if, uh, if, um, she's okay though. Um, this little one tried to escape. If uh, she's going to be okay, you know. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah. Just to let you guys know that we did not hurt them. If we did hurt them, we, we wouldn't hurt them at all. Like, trust me. We would not hurt them. But if we accidentally hurt them, like, break their tail or something on accident. Like, you know, like, just say we broke a wrist or something. We're like that. Like, I don't know. Like, where we get casts and stuff, we will bring them to the vet and... And see if they can, like, put something on it, maybe, to help it or something. Um, so, yeah. If they climb up here, you would see them. <laughs> because there's a camera showing here and all the way over here. So, yeah. 
Uh, they both tried to escape from over on that side. So yeah, you didn't really see them. Um, they sometimes they do like to hop around um, and stomp their feet on the bottom of the cage. Um, they do like to get up on their two back paws and sit up like this to see what's going on. Um, see, look, that's what they do. So, oh my God, get down, Crinkle. Okay, so that's what they do. As you just saw, um, Daisy just did. Oh, you're like, how can you tell between them? They both look alike. Yeah, as I said, her tail, Crinkle's tail is like, it, lo it looks like it's broken. Um, so yeah, that's how I tell them both apart. And Crinkle is way darker. Her fur is way darker. And Daisy's fur is not dark. <laughs> so her, Daisy's fur is really, really, really light. Um, so yeah. Sometimes I wait till they climb up here to pick them up. Sometimes I just lay my hand in there and let them go in my hand. Sometimes I just go and grab, like, gently grab, like, gently put my hand in like that and do that. Um, when they squeak, sometimes that means, like, you they're scared. And sometimes it means that you accidentally hurt them or they don't want to be picked up. Um, so, yeah, that is the main thing. Um, they do like to eat with their little hands. Um, so yeah, comment, oh yeah, comment down below if you like hamsters more or you like gerbils more. So comment down below if you like hamsters or gerbils more or rats or mice. Comment down below if you like gerbils more or hamsters or rats or mice more. Comment down below. Or dogs or cats. Comment down below what's your favorite animal. Also comment down below your favorite animal. And also comment down below if you like gerbils more, hamsters, or mice or rats. Comment down below. Okay, I got Crinkle. I got Crinkle. Crinkle is really squirmy. Um, <laughs> we love her, like all love her, and we like her the same that we do with Daisy. But Daisy is just a little calmer, so that's why we pick her up a little bit more. And that's why, um, you know, you guys know. Uh, but yeah, um, Daisy can be squirmy sometimes. Uh, and gerbils are really squirmy too. They're known for that. If you have two gerbils, you're going to have to keep an eye on both of them. But gerbils, the only thing gerbils cannot be alone because they like to have their siblings with them okay they like to have their siblings with them their friends so yeah if you have gerbils you can have any kind of gerbil with them you can have how many gerbils you want with them you can have like gerbils from another person you can have their sisters or any other siblings you can have that because they don't really care because they want friends you know friends so, yeah, uh, but if they're alone, if you just have one gerbil, just remember that they might pass away faster than they would actually with both of the two of them or, like, three of them or four of them. So, yeah, because if they're alone, they're going to get really lonely and they would, they would technically probably pass away. So, you wouldn't want that to happen. So, you should get two or three or four or five or ten. It doesn't really matter how many you have. But they got to be with another gerbil or another sibling of them, right? Like another gerbil. Because they cannot be alone. My mom never... My mom had one gerbil and she was all white. And uh, she was alone. My mom had her ever since she was a baby. And then when she got older, she was really, really big. Um, and... Um, and then uh, she got sick and she passed away. Oh yeah, and if you have a gerbil, um, a gerbil by itself, it could get sick too. Um, so yeah. Um, and my mom's got sick uh, because we're, um, I think where she was probably alone or something. If you guys see that picture, that's a picture that I made myself. Um, but anyway, uh, she, they could get sick. Um, uh, oh my god. Um, so yeah, they could die either that way, but they do want someone like another gerbil with them, <laughs> with them. 
So yeah, <laughs> she will not stop climbing up. <laughs> um. So yeah. Okay, you want to get back in your cage. Oh yeah. So yeah, and you should wash your hands before you pick your gerbils up or like smooth them down or anything because you could have any chemicals on your hands and they will get sick and if they lick it off or like if they bite you they'll have that you know that taste and they could probably die or get sick um and you don't want that to happen so i want you to wash your hand you're probably going to want to wash your hands really really good um and dry your hands um before you t touch them and when you're finished like playing with them and stuff and picking them up you don't want to wash your hands after because where like you after touching them and stuff and if you eat you're gonna have them like that like stuff all over your hands because they walk on their poop and pee all the time so you're gonna want to wash your hands in because you're gonna have your poop and pee and if you guys don't like being poop and pee on you shouldn't get gerbils because sometimes gerbils poop and pee on you so yeah hamsters are completely different they don't pee or poop on you at all they'll they'll wait till they get back in the cage to poop and pee but gerbils poop and pee on you because i got peed on er a like this morning and i got pooped on this morning so yeah if you don't want to be pooped or pee on you shouldn't get gerbils if you don't like that stuff so yeah uh but if you if you don't really care about it well then that's a little different um yeah if you're scared of gerbils don't like like i said you put, just put your hand in there and just get a little used to them you know what i'm talking about um so yeah so yeah but my mom's first gerbil she had and it was alone um it lived a really 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 long time because um it it lived ever since it was a baby. Like, it been a baby, and it grew up to be really, like, a full grown durable. And then after a while, like, three years, like, a couple years later, it got sick, and then it died. And then my mom got two more durables. My mom got two more durables. Um, and then uh, she had them for a while, but they used to, like, nibble. And so no one really like got to pick them up or anything and my mom didn't really like that but she still kept them you know she still loved them and stuff uh but then she was like getting them used to her and i think they got used to me and my mom and my brother um <laughs> um and um yeah and then one got sick i think it was or died or something um oh my gosh she's really screaming right now um died or something and um and then the other one stayed was alive still um so she kept the other one she never stole it or anything um then um <laughs> um <laughs> oh God. okay and um oh yeah and troubles don't really scare me and then uh, like a couple days later or something four or five days later or one day later i'm not sure my mom was telling me um the other one died and because where she got lonely or he i'm not sure so yeah <coughs> and if you don't like squirmy if you don't like squirmy animals well you should not get gerbils because some gerbils are really really squirmy they like to climb everywhere they like to explore you know and if you like animals that would like climb like go around your house and stuff and they won't go and under stuff well it, don't get troubles because troubles will go and under stuff and they will get lost but hamsters on the other hand they will they some some hamsters will you know go under some hamsters will bite some hamsters won't um hamsters when they bite you they draw blood but gerbils they don't draw blood because these here hamsters when they nibble they only nibble when they bite so yeah <laughs> yeah that's how i tell them apart because crinkle it has a darker like skin like a darker fur um crinkle has a darker fur and um her tail is different um and daisy right here she has really light 
really, oh my gosh, she's trying to get out of it. Really, really light fur, and she don't, she has a different tail, and it's not like, like crinkles. Um, so yeah, that's how I tell her apart between her sister. So yeah, and that's how I tell both of them apart. And how I especially tell them apart really good is that crinkle is really really fast and daisy is not that fast i can catch daisy first try sometimes but crinkle i can't even get her first time like first try i gotta keep trying to like get her sometimes but i only i give up sometimes i don't do it like so much so yeah i'm gonna try to oh i actually got her for the first time I got her first try, um, so that was really easy. Uh, I guess she wanted to be picked up then, so yeah. Oh my god, get down. And if you want to pick two of your gerbils up, you should get e like you should get used to picking both of them up first because if you pick them up and be not used to it, um, and they're really squirmy, they will try to like escape from your hand and go up your arm and like, you know, go all over the place. And then you're trying to, you know, trying to fix it. And, you know, uh, like me, I tried to pick both of them up and they were really squirmy and I'm not used to it yet. So I get really used to it first um, to handle both of them. Um, I'm just probably going to wait till they get a little bit older to do that. Because uh, then when they get older, they will probably be a little bit calmer and not like this. Because my mom's gerbil she had, the only, like, the one gerbil she had, um, used to, like, be really, really, oh my god, she pooped on me, really, really hyper, really, really hyper, um, she was really, really hyper when she was a baby, and once she got full growing, she was, like, like, she was, like, so calm, and she loved to be picked up. She loved attention and everything, even when she was a baby, but, like, you know. So, I just got pooped on. So, yeah, <laughs> again, by Crinkle. Crinkle always poops on me and pees on me. And if you guys are sick, you, you would probably rather not to pick them up because you could get them sick. Um... But, uh, you can pick them up, though, but you have to be really, really careful if you're sick picking them up because they can get sick, too. Uh, but I would rather you not to because where they will get sick. So I'd rather you not to pick them up when you're sick. Um, I'm not sick. I just, like, I'm, my nose is just really acting really weird right now. Um, so, yeah. And if you have one up in your hand and the other one's climbing up the cage, you just take the other one and push the other one down really gently. And it'll, she'll just eventually go down and into her cage. So she'll eventually go down in her cage. Um. So yeah. So you just gently touch them like this and push, like gently touch them like this and push them down into their cage and while you're holding the other one um but if you want to put your the one that you have in your hand down you can do that and pick up the other one um we have to do it really fast you have to gently do it. uh when you put them down you have to lay your hand down first on on this on the bedding and then and then put them down that way and let them walk off your hand because if you go and pick them up like grab them like this and put them down like that up really high they will jump off and they could hurt themselves um but if you do that it, no i would rather you not to um but yeah i know a lot about gerbils because my whole life was living with gerbils my whole life was living with gerbils um yeah so i lived with gerbils ever since i was a baby until i was f one two Three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten and eleven twelve, yeah, like that. Um, but I'm not. Escape her. Okay, she never hurt herself, but she escaped. Um. Um. But um. Yeah. How I know by she wanting it to get down, she sticks her nose into he into my fingers and she bites a lot, like she nibbles a lot. 
Um, so that's how I know they want to get down because they both does it. Um, right now she's just sticking her nose into my fingers. Um, so, oh, no, you cannot get down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this back in here. Oof, Gringo. Every, she's getting camera shy. She's really camera shy. Um, Daisy's camera shy. Crinkle is not. Okay, she wants to get down. She's biting me a lot. Okay, she wants to get down. Um, yeah. Crinkle is not camera shy. Crinkle just wants the camera. They love their dish. They love their food dish. Um, just love it. Oops. Are you okay? No, I'm done. I never remember. Daisy, Daisy and Crinkle likes to get in under their food dish. I'm going to... Where did you get all that? Look, there's more poo. Okay. Um, Don't poo on me. Okay. Um, See, look. She likes to go after the camera. Okay. I'm going to have to get one of those thingies. Escaper. I'm going to have to get one of those thingies that they can go into. Like a little home thingy. To go in their cage where they can go into, uh, for what, for when they want to go in there and go to sleep and stuff, um, um, and when they're older, and I am also gonna get a little like piece of wood at the vet for then they can, at the pet store for then they can go, and chew on and like sharpen their teeth and stuff because where for right now I do not have nothing for them to sharpen their teeth. Um, but I will get that really soon, so yeah. Um, they chew on, um, this little thing I had for my mice, um, that I had in their cage. It's, like, this thing that I got. It's, like, a food type thing, and they chew on that to help their teeth and stuff. Um, and it's really healthy for them. Um, so yeah. So I'm also going to get something for them you can chew on, like, a piece of wood to sharpen their teeth. Um... Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, she wants to get down. She's biting me and everything. Um, so she wants to get down. So, yeah. So, yeah. So I'm going to get those two things. So I'm going to put that into my phone. So I'm going to sing it to my pop to give me my phone. Pop! Can you get my phone? Can you get my phone? Where's mine here? Right there, I'm using it. I got two things to tell you. So when we get the money, but listen, when we get the money, um, I'm gonna get if I, I don't know if I can get it though, but um, uh, I'm gonna get a piece of wood at the vet, or not at the vet, but the pet store, where they can chew on the sharpen their teeth because you need that for them. Um, put them both up there. And, um... Yeah, you can put them at Walmart. Yeah, we'll get them at Walmart. And, um... Get down. Yeah. And, uh, I'm gonna need, uh, a little tunnel where they can go into. To sleep. Because they try to get under their food dish and go to sleep. And under there. And I don't really like it. Get down. Every time I put the book up there, they climb up there. They legit climb up there. Like, as you can... They legit climb up there. See, look. Oh, my God. I got it. Can you pass me? Did you right. bring in my phone? You soon got to put that up now. Oh my god, legit, bro. Okay, I gotta take this off because they're gonna yeah, be playing. Get out! Get down. Okay, so my pa just gave me this toilet paper roll. They can chew on this toilet paper roll too to sharpen their teeth. And they can also get inside and like sleep in it. What? You did. You did. Can you plug in now? Yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna put this in here. Um, first I'm gonna put like some bedding kit. Oh my god. 
she went in the toilet paper roll. She loves the toilet paper roll. Okay, so I'm going to put some bedding into the toilet. Oop. Get in the toilet paper roll. Holy frig. Okay, we're climbing everywhere. Okay, they love this toilet paper roll ever since I had it. Okay, the kid's climbing up there. Escape, escape, okay. They love this toilet paper roll. Okay, I'm gonna put some. They love it. Oh my god. I haven't seen them so happy. <laughs> I haven't seen them so happy before. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> They love me now. Oh my god. They just love me now. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I haven't seen them so happy. Oh my god. They're chewing on it. They're sharpening their teeth. And they like going in under the under there. And um, having fun in, like inside the toilet paper roll. And they love chewing on it. And they love getting in. Like legit in under it, not inside of it, but in under it, legit in under it. <laughs> so whenever I get run out of toilet paper rolls, um, I'm gonna get the toilet paper rolls and put into the cage. I'm gonna put one on top, like up on top of the cage, and on the bottom. So the next one, uh, I pranked you. I pranked you. I actually caught her. I took my hand and I hit it off the cage and make it sound like I dropped her, but I didn't. I hit my hand off the cage, but I caught her. Like I was like, whoop, I caught her. And I hit my hand off the cage to make it sound like she fell. But yeah, she never failed. I pranked you. Do you love it? <laughs> They're gonna spend all their time down downstairs. I think now since the toilet paper roll is down there. I think they're going to bring that toilet paper roll upstairs in their little upstairs and keep it upstairs because they brought a lot of bedding upstairs. They brought a toilet paper roll. They brought, now they're going to probably bring a toilet paper roll. You know what I'm going to have to do with you guys? I'm going to have to get another toilet paper roll for both of you guys. Pop! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, get out. Come here. It's like, what, 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 what? Do you love your mommy now? Since I give you that toilet paper roll? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move all the bedding and just put bedding around it, surrounding it. And I'm going to take some bedding and move. And I'm going to put bedding on top to hide it. To like hide it. Oh my God, get down, get down, get down. To hide it as a little hiding tunnel. There you go. That's a little hiding tunnel. She's like, What the frick? What happened to the toilet paper roll? Oh my god, she's gonna ruin it. She's gonna ruin it. They're gonna ruin it. They like going in under it. Dude, you gotta know that you can't go under it.
Don't go in under it. <laughs> Don't get in under it. Okay. It doesn't really matter right now. Okay, she just fell back. She usually comes in my hand. Pa, come here! They still like to go in under their food dish. No. Is there any more toilet paper rolls where I can put one up here? No. Empty one. Uh. Oh, yes, bye. Okay. Do you love your mommy now? <laughs> they love it. Like, honestly, they love it so much. I haven't seen them so happy before in my entire life. I haven't seen them so happy before. Okay, I'm happy. I'm so, so happy since I have a toilet paper roll to chew on and for a little sleeping area and a tunnel. Dude, you need to stop. Holy shit, Daisy. Stay in your cage. Legit, bro. Stay in your cage. Okay, she's gonna climb on my back. Okay. No, you cannot. <laughs> oh my god, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Holy freakadoodles. There isn't yet. Legit, bro. Oh, he's chewing on that. Yeah, they can. That's what they do to chew, like, to help their chew. Oh, oh. She drives me nuts. Just put the... Jeez, that doesn't mean I have a toilet paper roll you can get out. Jeez, she's crazy. Does it mean I let you out with the toilet paper roll? Does it mean that you can get it all the time? She's just crazy. They do that to help her. <laughs> get down. Listen, put the cover on. Okay. Oh, Is it okay? Yeah. We got it. Oh. What's that? There you go. Okay. <coughs> okay, guys. Bye, guys. Uh, wait, guys. I'm gonna get another truck and roll. Wait, oh. off by itself. No, no, let's go, let's go. That's good. 
Okay, so I got these two. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's go put it in their cage. Their cage. You'll soon come back. Okay guys, so what I have done is look, so I have the small one right here, right here, and I had the big one right, okay wait, I had the big one right there, right there. And the small one right here. And up top, I have the other one up here. And it seems like they've been chewing on it and they're going inside of it. So I'm going to fix it because it seems like... There you go. So I fixed the top one. I like, you know, so they can sleep in it nighttime. Uh, they can put bedding in there themselves. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go get my pop and surprise him. Poppy, come here. What? Come here. Come here. What I have done. Here. So this is what I did. I have the big. One up here, like that, where they can sleep in, um, and chew on. And I had the small one put here, for they can go probably go in through here and go it that way, or go in there, go it that way, and they can chew on. And I had the big long one like that. And if they want water, they can like push it and drink water from there. And they can still drink out of it. Okay. Bye, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below and give this a big thumbs up and give this. A hundred likes. <laughs> bye, guys. Make sure you give a big thumbs up. And bye. And I want this video to have a hundred likes. <laughs> bye, guys. I'm sorry if it was a little too much for you guys. But a hundred likes. Bye, guys. Give us a big thumbs up. Give it a hundred thumbs ups. <laughs> That's not what I'm just going to say. But. Okay, bye, guys.